As this war does continue between Israel and Hamas, some Jewish Americans from our area, they're now demanding a ceasefire. That group rallied in Old City today and criticized Israel's tactics in the ongoing fight. CBS News Philadelphia's Dan Snyder spoke with people on both sides of the argument. More than 100 Jewish Americans taking a hard stance against Israel's tactics in its war against Hamas. It's been nearly two weeks since Hamas launched a surprise attack on Israel, leading to more than 5,000 killed on both sides. Jules Berkman Hill says she's worried for family in Israel and friends in Gaza. I feel really horrified and appalled by what's going on, really uh, afraid for people that I love. But Berkman Hill and other American Jews at Thursday's rally are now demanding an end to the fighting. On both sides. War crimes do not justify war crimes. And so um, we are calling on our elected officials, as American Jews, and specifically as Pennsylvania Jews, calling on our senator to call for a ceasefire. The protesters gathered outside the U.S. Custom House at Second and Chestnut, home to Senator John Fetterman's office. This week, Fetterman posted a statement saying, quote, Now is not the time to talk about a ceasefire. No But David Kushner agrees with the senator. It's hard to engage and enter a ceasefire when over 200 people, some of which are citizens, American citizens, are actively being held hostage. Kushner was in Jerusalem just a week ago, helping coordinate the evacuation of Americans in Israel. He called the situation on the ground scary and believes a lot needs to happen before a ceasefire can be reached. We need to release the hostages. We need to stop the rockets. We need to stop targeting civilians. And then we could sit down at a table and have a dialogue. Now, those protests later moved here to City Hall, where there is a contentious city council hearing on a resolution condemning Hamas's attack on Israel. Coming up at six, we'll tell you what was in that resolution and some of the challenges it faced. At City Hall, Dan Snyder, CBS News, Philadelphia.